Hello friends, you're tuned into My Dad Says Audio. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, today we'll be doing an overview video on a Rotel Michi RHQ-10 phono stage. Uh, it, it's, it was pretty much one of uh, Rotel's stabs at the absolute high end of, of cutting edge technology and kind of state of the art. Dad, what can you tell us about the Michi? Well, I guess Rotel are uh, more associated, uh, not trying to be disparaging, but more associated with uh, mid-price hi-fi rather than the, the, the uh, high-end uh, per se. Uh, I've had this uh, phono stage for quite a few years now. I think it's actually quite an exceptional uh, product. I'll take the top off and you can have a bit of a look. Let's be a little bit careful because it is switched on. Okay, it's a bit of a tour de force in terms of technology and bits and pieces. Uh, it's quite something else. Uh, all the electrolytic capacitors, with the exception of these little ones here, which you know basically run things like uh, the the output relay uh, and the the four main power supply caps, are all black gates. All these you can see are black gates, with the exception of these. These are Nichicon great supply. Uh, it's pretty much dual mono from has two separate secondary windings, you know, one for each channel. Uh, you can see here there's copper bus bars. There, 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 there. You can see it's a double-sided board with uh, the, 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 the top layer being the ground plane. It also features things like... Uh, uh, na naked Vichy resistors in critical points, you know, uh, cartridge loading. This is capable of being used for both moving coil and moving magnet. I believe the, the default uh, loading value for the moving coil input is 100 ohms, which will make it quite suitable for a, a lot of the cartridges out there, maybe not all of them. And uh, the moving magnet, of course, is 47K. Uh, there's a number of jumpers associated with this. One changes from moving coil to moving magnet. And if you look just here, those two little, those two little things there, you can either choose to use it with the volume pot or just a fixed output. Um, it's it's uh, quite a nice phono stage is all I can say. I've got a few friends who have all valve gear and one of them I, I loaned him this for a, a couple of weeks and he's a bit reluctant to give it back <laughs> at mm. the end of it. Normally he would use valve gear. Uh, uh, I don't have any complaints about it is probably the best way of putting it. Yeah, uh, it shines a light on you know the turntable, the arm, the cartridge. How good that is! It, it tends to be more the limiting factor rather than anything else. Well, you loaned it to me for a few months, and I used it with a Leak Stereo Twenty uh, straight out from the Michi into the Stereo Twenty using the attenuator. Yes, and that worked. That worked, had plenty of gain. Yeah, yeah. But well, see, see, uh, there's there's a slight. There's a slight thing you've got to think of there. It's only 125 millivolts rated output out of your stereo 20. Mm. And this, I believe, is rated about three quarters of a volt. So you have plenty of output. Yes, you can use this straight straight into uh, straight into a power amp and just use the volume control. But it depends on the power amp. If, if you need, you know, some power amps 
this would not supply enough voltage to drive them properly. You still need to probably go through another stage, you know, um, right. another uh, preamp stage to get sufficient gain to drive drive the power amp. But yes, that does add a bit of uh, flexibility as far as that goes. Anyway, it's, there's very few bits of gear where I take the top off, I look inside, and then I just want to put the top back on because there's nothing there that there's nothing there that I can go. Oh, that bit's a bit rubbishy. I'm going to change that bit. With this, it's I've looked, and I can't really see anything I'd I'd want to change. No, well, it's chock a block full of black gates for starters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah they 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 really tried hard with with uh, the Michi range of products and. From my point of view, you know, I'm probably biased there, but uh, I'd consider out of all the Rotel Michi gear, I think they made a passive preamp, a power amp, I believe a CD player, okay? Out of all the bits and pieces, I think this is probably the star. Yeah, no, it's a bit of a legend. Mm. Oh, well, that's it for today from My Dad Says Audio. If you like this kind of content, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. All right, friends, that's it for today. Till next time, bye.